This is the sun at 5.15 in the evening. Looking at the flower bed, I decided it's time for a tidy up. I'm going to clear the mulch and these stems from the sunflowers and hollyhocks that have been there over winter. I think this is one of the gladioli from last year. It didn't come to much, but it's back for another chance. This year, instead of putting up a plastic net, I'm going to use canes and make a web with this jute string. It's a bit fragile at the moment. Hopefully it will be okay once things are growing on it. This sweet pea, April in Paris, was one I started growing over the winter. It's not doing a lot, so I'm going to put it outside and see if it improves. And it can have its own little pot of beer for protection from slugs. So this is how my little trellis stands at the moment. I might add some more bits of string to it later on. Maybe some vertical drop downs. We'll see how it goes. So far the sunflowers have been surviving, although they're not growing particularly quickly. But this one did get chewed off at the base. I'm cutting off the dead bit of the rudbeckia. Time for that to go. I noticed there is some green at the bottom of the rudbeckia and I wonder if it will be coming back again this year. These are the sweet peas I planted a few weeks ago. April in Paris and Sicilian pink. And these seeds I planted more recently, the only ones coming up so far are also April in Paris and Sicilian pink. This is where the climbing plant was. A few weeks ago I pushed in some of the old sweet pea seeds I didn't expect any would grow, but a few have been successful. In this tulip tub, some of the seeds I planted the other week are starting to grow. The oak and hazel are coming back to life after the winter. New fronds continue to unfurl on the ferns. The wild garlic is growing big and strong. I'm going to have to find somewhere to plant these seeds outside soon. But for now, some pictures of the tulips.